Hello everybody, Max with A1 Website Pro here. And today we're, I'm going to teach you how to turn on IMAP in your Gmail. Now your IMAP and your POP3 settings, then your Gmail, if you go up to this little cog where it says settings, click on that once and then click see all settings. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to forwarding and POP slash IMAP like that. And most of the time the status for pop is enabled but right down here the second one IMAP access you want to enable this IMAP I'm getting ready to make a tutorial where you can combine all of your emails into one program so for example if you have several different gmails hotmail yahoo mail you know domain mail you want to be able to check them all in one place and so that's why you're going to want to enable IMAP in gmail now, <clears throat> when, there's a couple other settings. When I mark a message in IMAP as deleted, you can auto expunge it, update it on the server, or wait for the client to update the server. Leave that at auto expunge for this next tutorial. And then when a message is marked as deleted and expunged from the last visible IMAP folder, just archive the message. Because what IMAP will do is it will synchronize from your other email client this particular uh, Gmail right here this is a this is an email client in itself but we're going to use another one that doesn't have ads on it when you're checking your emails it's just plain and simple emails and then uh, this do not limit the number of messages in IMAP that's what you want okay. and then just click save changes right there and now we can go ahead and use another email client like uh, Thunderbird, uh, Outlook, uh, a lot of different ones that are out there. But in this next tutorial that I'm going to be talking about, combining all your emails into one, we're going to be using Thunderbird because it not only does the emails, it does your calendar, your task list, and a bunch of other things. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.